Hello, hello, my crafty friends. It's Crafty Angel Christine. Today, my little sharing will be about my purple dye paper. I have done a bunch, just wanted to share it with you. Uh, a quick sharing, I mean, <laughs> a really quick sharing. And I can tell you, it's just gorgeous. The paper turned out to be gorgeous and wow, beautiful, really, really. I love this one. That's why I bought this one in front. I really love the way the way it came. I really love it. Uh, it's by leaving the water on the top, I think, that give this this effect. These are plain paper. I had some plain paper that I've dyed. This one. See, I like the way I have some bits and pieces that was inside also. I just colored them. And I like when you have these little, like, corner. See, this one? Only the corner when there was a lying paper. And by the way, these are all air dye. Air dry. Yeah, air dry. Sorry, air dry. Uh, I haven't put them to drying over whatsoever. It's just air dry. I love the purplish. This one is pale one. But I can you can see this one and the design inside oh, this is really really gorgeous one look at this one you know there was a bunch of paper on all over each other so I get this effect like if I've done a border die yeah but it was and this one a little dude <laughs> I really love this one see the back one this one this one also the back i think i should just do it like that and use this in them in john journal that will be great we are using them not cutting because if you cut them the design will go and wow. and this why it's purple and now it's uh, like pale orange see i don't know if you can see it well but the color and this space is white this one is really nice one too. here uh wow look at this one like hot beat things <laughs> i really like this one too and these are all plain paper i'm sharing with this one with you and now you have some composition book page oh, this one but this one i have two batch one batch is really colorful uh this one is really colorful and I won't show you all one by one, just telling you that like that, see? And I have a batch that is really pale. The color haven't been so much into it. Let me show you this quickly. Not to be doing it a long video. See, this one is white one. White. A pale color on it. It didn't take too much because I didn't take it apart. I just put it all together. That's why I think it became like that. And this paper, the last one is uh, uh, com light composition book in front. This one is composition book, sorry. Uh, but I have also, this one is a plain one. This one is graph one, you know, this paper. This is graph. I've done some different paper type. This one. See this one? Nice one. This one also nice. I've tried different one and I love everyone. I need a pair one, but I'll be using them too. And just let me show you rapidly. I have a bunch of these papers, so I need to use all of them. I have a box full of composition book. Uh, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot to use. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Craft with what you have. Have a nice day. Bye.